Okay, here's a sketch that shows the lay of the land, so to speak, regarding the only way this pipe can really go forward. This top picture uh, shows the way it was made in the first place. The uh, stumble was uh, just normal in every way. It was turned, the shank was turned down to a very thin tube the size of a drinking straw. And then over that were slipped a fiber ring or plastic of some kind and the piece of horn. And that was it. It's like a ring on your finger. And the, they're stacked up and glued. And that, however, restoration implies that to bring something back to its original form, that's no longer possible with this pipe. It's it can't be redone that way and even if it could I would not opt to do it it's too fragile so what we're going to be doing is what you see here on the bottom now these black areas are a Delrin insert and the red is a stainless steel tubing and you'll notice that the stainless steel bridges over the new joint that we're going to have. I won't, I will not include this decorative ring because I want the, uh, the the joint to be as strong as possible in maximum surface area and a substance, a material that will accept the, the glue better. Some do better than others and I want the uh, synthetic horn to be uh, adhered as strongly as possible to the wood and then bridged by this stainless steel tube that will keep the moisture from the smoking process and oils and tars and all that stuff from migrating into the joint. Now the glue itself is stronger than the wood but all that gunk in there would, will over time in some cases migrate like a, a surface tension type of thing and it will soften the wood that the glue has been applied to it, that it has been applied to, so that at some future time you could break a joint like that and the glue wouldn't fail, but the fibers that the glue was adhering to had softened from exposure. So it's not a major consideration, but it's something that as long as we're doing this, we might as well do it right. So that's the overview. And now I'm going to go make the component parts. So I uh, will get back with you when I'm about halfway done with those. The watching people work, uh, if I had a, a true cameraman that could zoom in and out and all that kind of stuff and, and move around, you might actually uh, get something from watching that kind of work, but I'm working on stuff that's the size of a throwing, sewing thimble or uh, little bitty deals and there's no way to get the camera close enough and then leave it there that's uh, not going to be a, a, a reasonable. So uh, if I move the camera away to where everything's at a safe distance you'll just see my hands moving around and, and really not able to follow what's going on. So I won't show the actual machining of these little parts but I will show you the result and how they fit together and then we'll assemble it like a little erector set. So that's it. See you in a minute. 